six losses, although it has three less wins uh, as of this moment compared to Alaska. Uh, you always look at the losses because you can never make up losses, but you can make up wins. Good point. Those are kids already. The uh, so si coach Tim Cohn, para hindi to matanda. Yeah. Time has been frozen. Me na Alaska milko. Ang taas dito. Nung isang gabi sa Roneta Coliseum, there were the families of uh, players uh, uh, who were there, the Gucci Glastimosa, and we also had uh, Malot uh, Kaidik. Kulang na lang. Mga daughters mo, daughters ni Ronnie Magsano. <laughs> All girl uh, gathering there. In the meantime, that was not going to work. Kit Norwood is your main offensive weapon. I'm just thinking of your point you made. Parang hindi tama ang setup sa kanya o nahihirapan siyang mag-create. Well, I think with Gabe Norwood, you're looking at personality. He doesn't have, it really is not that type of guy with that strong personality that would will his team or, or would really ask for the basketball. When you look at this team, it seems that of the two, it would be Sol Mercado that has a bigger personality that would be really attacking the basket and uh, not afraid to, to be to be at times uh, selfish. I it seems, it uh, seems Norwood is, is really pass first. Uh, it's more of the guy that's uh, not in the limelight. Checking his uh, offensive game, and Norwood, nandun pa rin siya pumapalo ng 8, 11, 13, 6, however, against Stock and Texas. You know, you and I were here on that day. They got mauled. And uh, Norwood last game around against Santa Lucia with 14. But, but you, as you watch, as you watch games, as you watch a lot of basketball, you, you really notice that there are the points per game average. It, it's different for every player. Good point. A person uh-huh. might be, let's say, when you look at the NBA, a guy like Derek Fisher averages maybe about eight, nine points a game, but they always seem to be big shots. There are some players that may average in double digits, but you don't expect them to be the one to take the big shot. So it's all about uh, game management. Good point, like James Jack nails it in the big... In the, in the big moment. Mm. But when you look at his average, he's about at 16 to 18. And I think you said send the little guy who does this upstairs to fix the uh, Gunetta roof. And a uh, 30-second timeout, of course, brought to you by Handy Fix. On first eight, the bottom of Bonzo seals off. And so that goes back to what you were asking about. Uh, Gabe Norwood is the number one guy. When when you look at the average, um, Gabe Norwood and uh, Sol Mercado are almost the same, terms of average. But you will notice most of the big shots would always land, or the big situations, the creative moments where the team really needs it, would fall on Sol Mercado's shoulders. Good point. In the meantime, that's going to happen next. When is this? Wednesday next week. And by the way, coming the weekend, we have the TNT SMB game. Oh, that's the huge one. That's a, I, I would I would think. In the eliminations, with what's left of the elimination games, that's the biggest game on the calendar, and that happens tomorrow, I believe. Then Jap threw off Chan. Fingers curling, taking, and just skidded half a fraction of an inch. Nice move. It's just that his dance shoes were new. Now, this game, especially here in the second quarter, really going slow. Um, both teams have, have struggled to put points on the board. And um, uh, actually, more of um, there's been a lot of bosses in the action. Uh, turnovers, uh, side outs. Uh, and a dripping roof. <laughs> and a dripping violation. Yep, dripping. Oh, look at that. Such a marvel to watch as Roger Yap. Dazzles the defense with his dribble and his footwork, six points. And and B McDerby is doing a good job of attacking the transition defense of Rainer's side. Oh yes. Parang pag hindi pa nakasetup, doon ang mabibis sila. Like in this case. Yup. Pinrotektahan ng bola! Ayaw pumasok. Follow up by Brown. And right now, just too many turnovers for Rainer's side. They can't get anything going. They're throwing the basketball away. And the moment they throw the basketball away, they're not going down on defense. Nagahanap sila ng mystery keyword. Yan ang misteryo. Eh, yung dalawang katabi, isa na yun ay atang nakasuot ng ganyan. Wala silang pakialam. 
Sabi ng bata, pasensya na kayo sa kasama ko, normal lang ho sa kanya yan. Eh, hindi naman niya alam kung yan talaga kasama niya, nakabasket ah, na yan. Oo nga, yun nga pala, no? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> maalaman. <laughs> Abay, hindi maalaman kung anong laruan ang uumpisa, na. <laughs> 31-20. Ito yung turnover. Sana ang bilis uh, mag-pounce ng opportunity ng Derby Ace. Tama yung sabi mo, yung transition defense ng, ng uh, uh, Rain or Shine, hindi ganun kabilis para i-ball stop. And again, turnovers. I want to go to 5-0. Now it's 9-3. And it's also what you do with turnovers. It seems after every turnover, it's Rain or Shine. My, spending a little time trying to talk to the referees which has led to layups on the other end. Oh, well, that's a good point. In the meantime, Ryan Aranya going lefty. He had to improvise because he lost his footing completely. Yep, looking for help. Outside to Mayor Hoffer. Tell me if I'm wrong. Is that, Are those bowling shoes by Mayor Hoffer? Look at that <laughs> drive. There, right now, there's just no inside presence for Rain or Shine that, that, that is scaring these BMEG Derby Ace players from going all the way to the basket. You know, all arms, all tentacles, and Mayor Hopper picks up this air ball. Brown asking for the ball, but Fingers had his back turned, but it was already gone when Norwood stepped in. Good spin by Norwood. Somebody fouled him. Mayor Hopper with his third. Okay, Gabe Norwood looking for points number three and number four, but still. Still not a single field goal to his name. Ako naman kasi, tinanong ko si Miko, baka naman nabalot ng Celtics yan at pinasok sa ball bag at dinadinala sa Boston, <laughs> hindi na makakita. No, for, from what I know, he played basketball in Rucker Park. Which, which is, is uh, which is, uh, you know, when you talk about the streets of New York, um, you know, there's a, din talaga street ball. Yun yung playground ball talaga. Uh -huh. Yung announcer pa doon pagka, ano eh, no? Uh -huh. eh, Rap pa yun eh. Ay, ibig sabihin, kung nandito siya, naglaro siya sa lalong labas. <laughs> <laughs> James. You know, this might not sound right, but it's like calling your your butler or James come, and it delivers. <laughs> They haven't found a solution for him. Not and, at know, all. And, and James Yap, it seems as, as the years have gone on for him and his uh, career in the PBA, very relaxed when he oh, plays. Oh, no? No college, yeah, may tension pa, eh, no? He was trying to force a number of shots, but he's managed to settle in and he's become an MVP here already in the PBA. Such a marvelous career. Oh, look at that, Tati. Pumos way. He can irritate you in a variety of ways. Right there, and you know, he's like I said, I've said this before. He's percentage wise, he's not a bad three point shooter, he's actually the best three point shooter in terms of percentage for his team. But of course, all his looks are open looks for his team. Para bang inaantay niya si Direk Kunan Moko, Kunan Moko, tapos na ko. But it's sending the signal also to the opponent, I am so open. And Mercado got well, it inside. Well, well, he falls on that play over there, which goes me when I see a play like that. Either you call a flopping call or you call a, or a foul, because it either he flopped or he or, or he got, there was there was action. It's an either or situation. That's what you're saying. Yeah, but 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 since there's a flopping call present right now in the PBA, every time a person falls, either you call a foul if 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 it's something as blatant as that, or you call a flopping call. He cannot miss. How's he doing? Perfect three out of three seven at the moment. Mercado got a basket on the other end. But the crowd's still bristling from what Yap has done. He is, as you say, perfect from three-point country and four of seven and total from other sectors of this court.
Meron certain players talaga pag umusok o usok talaga maapoy na eh. Like uh, you remember, he was named PBA Player of the Week in the past week. 